Right then, well, welcome back to this a Canvas video help guide on files and folders in Canvas. Now, Canvas is a cloud-based platform, which means that all your resources are actually stored away from your computer or laptop on the cloud. One huge benefit is that you have limitless space. Now, when you're managing your files on Canvas, there are two places where uh, you can do this. One in your My Files area, which is your own protected area, and the other uh, are the files and folders that are part of the courses that you teach in, and you share those files and folders with other teachers. So this guy is going to show you uh, how to access those files and then to create uh, files and folders uh, and to manage them on the different courses. In front of you, hopefully, you can see uh, the Canvas dashboard. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and click on my avatar, like so. And then you can see if I go down to Files under Account and click it. What I'll get now is a list of all the courses that I teach in. There they go, all these different courses. And at the top, my My Files area, my own protected folder area. Now, if I click on my files, because I've been playing about, you can see that I've got a folder already set up for my profile picture. And if I click on it, you can see the picture inside, which matches uh, my avatar there. Now, to get up from that location, I can either go up the tree by clicking on it like so. Or you can see that there are, if I go back, what we call little breadcrumb trails. So I can click on here and then click back on here if I wish to go to the very top. What about courses that I teach in? Well, if I click on Sims for Teachers, uh, you'll notice that uh, there are some files uh, and a folder that's already been added in. They've been added in by Sue because uh, along here I can tell when uh, the files were uploaded, if they've been changed at all, who they were changed by, their size, uh, whether they're published or not. And if I go to this little settings cog, uh, I can actually go and change some features and we'll talk about those in a moment. Um, now, what's really important uh, to explain at the very start is that courses that you teach in, uh, the files and folders that you see are shared by other teachers. So it's very important that you carefully manage uh, the files and the folders that are in here, making sure that if you move files or delete files, they're not impacting on work that a teacher and other teacher is doing with another class. Right, so let's get started. Uh, and the safest place to start, I think, is in your own My Files area. So let's click back on here. Uh, let's start by making a folder. Over on the right hand side, you've got the plus folder icon. If I click on it, it goes black and you can see there's an empty box waiting for you to type in a folder name. Well, let's type in the word images and original and if I press enter you can see that my images folder is made it appears in my little tree here and it tells me when I made it you can also see uh, if you're not colorblind like myself that this little cloud is green which means that it's automatically published um, because it's your my files area and no one else has access to it it's automatically published we'll look at the options uh, depending on whether you uh, upload files to a shared course. Uh, what can I do with this folder? Well, if I click on the down arrow, I can go and delete it. And if I click delete, just like with other kind of folder and file management systems, you get a warning message. If I click OK, it tells me it's been deleted. Let's quickly go back and make that again and press Enter. Now to go into that folder, I just need to click once. And once I'm in that folder, I can now think about uploading files. Uploading files is fairly straightforward and not too different from other kind of online uploading systems. If I click on upload, I'm on a laptop, so it takes me straight to my pictures area. It may be different from where you are at. Uh, to upload a picture, I just simply click on it. You can see it tells me what the name of it is and I press open. And because I've got a nice fast connection, you can see it uploads fairly, uh, fairly immediately. Uh, this is the name of my file with the file ending. I'm actually going to rename that. So I click on the down arrow and select rename. And then I can just click inside it, delete as much as I wish. I'm going to add in the new word logo. And then if I press enter, there we go. My file has got a slightly better, more easy to understand uh, logo. 
Now I can upload more than one file at a time. So if I go back to upload, this time I can actually select one file and then keep my finger down on the shift key and select another and select a third. You can see the file names are here. And if I press open, it will now upload all three and it takes slightly longer because obviously there are three files being uploaded at a time. There we go, in comes one and the other two will follow. Unfortunately, you cannot upload whole folders, which is a little bit irritating, but there we go. So I've got my four files that are here and really I should probably go and rename them. Um, I can move these files if I want. Uh, so for example, if I wanted to make a folder within a folder, let's just call this uh, well, originally another folder. It's not uh, great. So I've made a folder inside my images folder and I can drag these like this and let go. And that will put that file inside that folder. If I click on another folder, there you go. So that's how to manage files inside your My Files area. Let's have a look at files that are in a shared course. So this is a course that you teach in with other teachers. I clicked on Sims for Teachers. Uh, this is a course that uh, Sue has made and you can see straight away that uh, it tells you who has uploaded the files. It tells you a little bit about the files too and their sizes and also whether those files are published. If I click on the folder like so, you can see that Sue has uploaded some Adobe files, some help guides and when it was done. Now, I'm not really going to play about with this other than to show you uh, something about the publishing properties. If I click on publish like this, I've got a number of different options uh, as to the file that I see. Because remember, you can actually show this file uh, area to students as part of the course. I've got published, which means that it appears on the course. Unpublished, which means actually it's hidden and cannot be seen by uh, the students and it won't be published. And then I've got this third option called restricted access. Uh, what that means is that if I show this file area to students, then it won't be visible, but it will be visible to students if I actually give them the link. Uh, and we'll explain that, show you that in a later uh, help guide. Uh, the last option, schedule student availability, is you can actually uh, make the file uh, visible and hidden between certain dates. Uh, that might be useful for um, pieces of coursework or other such tasks. Let's just click cancel to go back from there. So that's a very quick guide through files and folders on shareable courses. Uh, I think it's a really good feature, the ability to actually go and have a look at files and folders in other courses without actually having to go on to them. Uh, I would suggest that within Teams, you decide on what folder structure you're going to have here. Uh, it may well be one that's very similar to what you've already got on the shared area and also have some sort of discussion about uh, deleting and modifying files. Uh, and that's about it. If you get any questions about that, you know where I am, either by email or in room 73.